Okay, am I back? It looks okay here. I have to see if anybody else hops on. I told you to look for a new stream. So we'll give it a couple of minutes to uh, catch up. And I'll wait till I see if I get any more comments coming so I know that you were able to find me again. I have a few more things I got at the Green Dragon, and then I'm going to show you what I got at the Goodwill. Ah, there's Paloma. Right, there's one. Let's see if the rest of you can find your way over. I hate wasting time like this on you, but... Okay, Sheila's is back. Uh, seven. Now, did you have to go to the stream, or did it show up in the same stream? Back. Hi. Let me know if it showed up in the same stream or if you had to get a new one. Gigi's heart. Hello. Welcome, Gigi. Had to go to new stream. Okay. Thank you. On vacation. Got a minute to say hello. Hello, Baking Diva. Thank you for coming by. Okay. Go to a different one. Yep. Had to go to new. There you are. There. Alrighty. Now, I'm just going to pick up where I was. I was showing you what I got at the Green Dragon. Showed you some food stuffs. Now, this is something I didn't think I was going to buy, but the price was phenomenal. I make my own handmade. Hi, Nancy. I make my own handmade aprons. They're beautiful aprons, very well made, with um, special details to them and great fabric and all. And I'm going to the Homesteaders of America conference. I'm hoping to have some to bring with me when I go. But I can't sell them cheap because they just take too long to make and the materials are so nice. So for those who want really nice aprons, I'll have them there. And the price will be, you know, moderate. So but when I was there, I found these aprons. And they were $2 a piece. And I thought I could take those and jazz them up with some of my special touches. And then I can sell them for a whole lot less than my, the other aprons I make. So for those who just want an apron, but they can't afford the ones that I make, I can sell them these. And let me show you the different ones they had. Some of them are kind of loud, but if you like color, you'll like some of them. Please show me your aprons. I don't have any here. I sold them all, so i got to make more. <laughs> but I do have pictures on my Facebook page. If you research my Facebook page, you'll see them. All right, here's the aprons I found for two bucks each. They're bibbed aprons, all one piece with a pocket, and they got some, some pretty colors. Uh, this one, I don't know, well, I guess it's plums. This one, pretty flowers. This one, apples. This one, limes. Another of the flowered ones. And another that color, another this color, and then I got pretty blue ones, blue and yellow ones. So I thought if I can take those and put my own spin on them, they, they are made okay. I mean, they're, you know, they were $2 aprons. They're not going to be made great. They do feel like a, a twill. I don't know how they wash up, and I'll be upfront with that when I saw them to people because I didn't make them. But I'm finding the strings are a little short, so I'll probably do a better job with the strings. I might add some lace. I might add some special touches. And then I can sell them, you know, for a whole lot less than I, I could sell my other ones. And still make a little money by just jazzing these up. So, will you do a before and after one, please? Okay. If, if my plan, if I follow through with my plan, I will do that. So... Those are the aprons I found. I thought I got seven of them, two dollars each for 14 bucks. I can jazz them up and I think that they will turn out cute and people who can't afford my really nice ones will be able to take an apron home from Bandy and Grandma. And uh, I'm going to wash them up first though because I want to know what happens when you wash them. The apples will be nice for the fall. Yeah. Yeah, great idea. I'm always thinking, you know, I usually go to thrift stores and try to think, what can I do with this? to uh, make it something I can use. So and those were brand new. All right, they will turn out great. Great idea. All right, so that was everything I got at the Green Dragon. 
Now I'm going to take you over and show you what I got at the Goodwill. And I'm going to turn the camera around. There. We're going over to the parlor. So this couch. Hang on. Sit you up so you can see. All right. Now this is where I went to Goodwill Outlet. JD saying, hi, Dolores. Cindy says, I love the way you think. Very creative. Thank you, Cindy. All right. This is stuff I got at the Goodwill Outlet where you pay by the pound. Now, the main thing I went there for was wool sweaters, and I got a few. And the good thing about these is they're already shrunk up. I mean, it's obvious people have washed them, which is what I'm going to wash them again, of course. But, I mean, they're already shrunk up, so I kind of know how much fabric I'm going to get. Because if I get sweaters that haven't been washed and then I wash them, it's alarming sometimes how much fabric I lose. But, okay, I've got this gray one. I've got a green, where we are here, a green one. St. John's Bay green. It's a large, so that'll give me some fabric. I've got this navy colored one. And then I found this. Somebody made this little sweet sweater. So, well, I do use a lot of red in my mittens. I don't want to cut up this child's sweater. See if I can show you better back here. So I think I might adorn this one too. I think I'm going to get really cute kid buttons to put on. Maybe do a little more thinking. But this this is a handmade sweater, and I, I you know I'd like to sell it as such. So I'm going to make sure this one is dry cleaned, and I'm going to jazz it up with some really cute buttons, and think. You know, maybe I'll do a little more to it, and then I can sell it for a little more than I than I bought it for, but I can still give somebody a really good deal on a handmade red wool sweater, child size. Now, the other thing I got, when I couldn't find a whole lot of sweaters, I started thinking about wool blankets. And I got these wool blankets by the pound, and I think I can make mittens out of these, too. There are some... There's a cute pattern there. This is wool. And then I think I'm going to take these. I got a green and a pink one here. And I'm going to cut them up and I'm going to quilt them. You know, like crisscross stitch them to make a, a pattern and a stitching. And then I'll make mitten backs out of that. And of course, my mittens are fully lined with fleece. Nice fleece. And there's the green one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try a few pairs of mittens with these two and see if they turn out well. Always thinking. Also, I was surprised to find they had the one pound of Karen wool. Um, there's it's not wool, acrylic yarn I think. Now of course, I gotta be careful with this because it was at the Goodwill. I don't know where it came from. I don't know, you know, how soiled it is and everything. So my thought is. I'm going to put it in one of those nylon bags that you wash lingerie in, and I'm going to run it through the wash. This is an experiment. It cost me like a buck and a half for this, and it's normally $10. So I'm going to run it through the wash in a nylon zippy bag that you wash lingerie in, and then take it out and see if I can... I might, I might take off the first layer of yarn so there's nothing left that was on top, but I'm going to wash it first and see how it turns out. It's wonderful, then I'll just put it in the balls and I'll make something out of it. But for a buck and a half, I had to try because you can make some nice things with this color yarn. Now, the other things I got there that weren't for mittens, I just kind of stumbled across. And again, by the pound. <laughs> you didn't think I could pass up a bandana, did you? No, I got a bandana. That weighed practically nothing. Now this, I don't know... I have a daughter who's expecting a baby, and she's not a very big girl. And I thought this was a cute dress, and it looked like somebody who was expecting might be able to wear it. And because it was such a good price, I thought I would get it and let her decide. Because if she doesn't want it, there's very little lost in it. So I got her that. 
And then my family has been very supportive of the American Legion. My dad belonged. My mom was a, um, a member of the auxiliary. Mr. Patty's very active. And I saw this zippered shirt there. Not a thing wrong with it. American Legion. So if I need a sweatshirt, it was my size. I would wear that with pride. I'm going to wash it up. And I think it's in good shape. So that's what I got at the... Goodwill outlet there, buying things by the pound. All right, now let me turn the camera around again. Whew. Check the comments. So narrow ruffled plaid along the bottom lines would be cute for the sweater. Thank you, Nancy. I'm gonna think about that. Okay, JD says, Allison, stay busy decluttering. Yeah, we all need to do that. <gasps> Look who's here. My new me. Hello, Brenda. So glad you made it. Love that dress and congratulations to the mom. Thank you, sweet. Yes, for the, the mama to be is my, how old is she now? 36. And this is her first baby. It was a long time coming. She had some real difficulties with uh, conceiving. So we are all just so happy that it's finally happened and she's due November 7th. So she's coming along very well and we're really happy. And I can't wait for the new grandbaby. This will be our eighth. Six homegrown and two that we were gifted by marriage <laughs> with our grandkids. Yes, you would wear me out. You definitely love to find a bargain. Yeah, I do. I do. And we. I wear my husband out, but he very, he was very sweet to take me to all these places. I don't usually drive, so he drive. He's he he calls it driving Miss Daisy when he takes me out. So we had a really good time. <laughs> Love how you say homegrown. <laughs> yeah, our home, six homegrown and two gifted by marriage. That's our grandkids. Now, piece de la resistance is the fabric store. I'm going to show you what I found at my favorite favorite fabric store up there, Zinks Fabric Outlet in Goodville, Pennsylvania. So let me turn the camera again. And I'm coming over to this couch. I've got stuff everywhere laid out until I could. All right, only in my dreams. Hello, Anna. Anna's here from Only In My Dreams. Anna, I'm on the last haul. This is my fabric shop haul. I've already done, let me see, I'm looking over there. I've done the thrift store haul of the Reuse It thrift stop shop run by the Mennonites. I've done Holly's Outlet. I've done the Green Dragon. I've done the Good Goodwill Outlet. And now I'm doing my Zinc's Fabric Outlet. Now, here's fleece. I bought four. My mittens. It's very wide fleece. I think it was six dollars a yard and it's very wide so it'll go pretty far and help me make my mittens. I got whoops. I got white and I got gray. Alrighty then look what I found. Bandanas. I wanted prints. They had solids there, but I wanted prints. And this was the only color they had except the red, white, and blue patriotic stripey eagle type ones. So I'm taking these with me to the convention, I mean the conference, and I'm going to figure out. So I think I'm going to sign them, and I'm going to have them there, and it'll be a fun thing at the bandana grandma table. Yeah. So I got those. I also have some that I got up there last time that we went that were, were different colors. Now the big find I have is, you see this big roll right here? We have outdoor furniture that has, it is way past its prime and it needs to be recovered. And I went up there specifically knowing that they said they had indoor outdoor furniture fabric. This fabric here will sell at Joann's for like $23 a yard, easy. And I got it for $4.99 a yard. So, look at this. It's huge. Very, 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 very wide. I got 15 yards of it. So I could cover two big chaise lounges that have two big long cushions on it. 
I had uh, enough to for I got two side chairs like like uh, upholstered side chairs to cover. I have a settee with a back cushion for bottom cushions. So all my lawn furniture I'm going to be able to recover. And this is the same stuff in a solid. So I can mix and match them if I want to put like a top pillow in solid and the bottom in the print. Or I can make pillows out of one in solid, you know. So I thought I did really well. It was a chunk of money to spend because this is four yards and that's uh, 15 yards. And at $5 a yard, you know, it's a chunk of money. But considering that stuff sells for $23 a yard and new lawn furniture or buying new cushions will cost a lot more I think I did good and I love I love 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 the anchors and I'm in Annapolis so you know anchors away <laughs> right now the other good thing that happened while we were on our trip was Mick did all the driving and that means I had time to sit and crochet and I got almost all the squares done I need to make my uh, ponchos I make. If you've seen those ponchos, um, well, when I'm done, I'll show you. But they're all, they're really nice ponchos. They're all fringe. They have trim, contrasting trims on them. So I did a lot of crocheting. Well, my husband was driving <laughs> there and back. All right, I'm going to turn the camera on me again, finish up. All righty. Thank you for coming by and sharing my hauls with me. I hope you enjoyed them. All right, let's see. <laughs> okay, Glow, G. Casper says, hi, new me, glad to see you here. Of the anchor fabric says seven blended hearts. Yes. Great idea for the pink bandanas. This is a great find. That is a great find. What? That's yeah, I think so. I think so. Perfect for nice, perfect for your yard. Yes. Love the print. Thank you, Aunt Anna. Can't wait to see your finished projects. Yeah, now the lawn furniture, I'll probably do that over the winter. So that's gonna be in the future. But I went there wanting to of the fleece colors. I love the anchor pattern and the price material. I am looking forward to meeting you at the convention. Oh, Teresa, I'm so glad you love that. Awesome price. Great price. Indoor outdoor fabric is so hard to find and terribly expensive. Great find. I thought so. I was elated. Do you sell your ponchos? Yes, I do. I'm going to have them to sell. I've got one made now. I've got two here that should be finished by the soon inference. And let's see. I don't think I can get it that cheap at headquarters outlet. Good find. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it all. Thanks. Thank you, Laura, honey. I'm so happy I made this. I need to get caught up on everything now that I have consistent internet again. Oh. Oh, good, Brenda. And I'm, I haven't quite moved to a tight place, so I'm waiting to hear about that. Go Navy. Yeah. Hey there, Brenda. Yay, I get to catch you live. Heather. Hello, Heather. Go Batty. Another great channel. Go subscribe to go. Uh, she and Kev. Wonderful kids, and Heather is a wonderful cook. Kevin does so subscribe. They're a wonderful channel. I'm hoping next year to visit them in Ohio. I was supposed to do it when we went to Colorado when we were going to drive out there. We were going to stop in Ohio. But then we ended up flying the pilot and to stop in Ohio. So, <laughs> so we're going to have to reschedule that. And I hope she still takes us in because I do want to do that. Okay. What great finds. Thank you for sharing. We need to get together sometime in the future. I have family in Arnold. That's around the corner from me. Anna. Okay, yes, I would like that. We'll have to do a haul together, Anna. We'll do a, we'll do a what do you call them when the channels get together? Uh, I'm going to say conference, and that's not the right. Collaboration. We'll do some kind of collaboration. Okay, we would love to have you here. Yes, 
Kevin invited me, and I'm going to take him up on it. I hope next year, if I can talk. Yeah. Yes, that would be fun. Okay, Anna. Well, I thank Anna because she was in my local Dollar Tree not too long ago. And, it, and I saw some things in there I didn't know were there. <laughs> I'm buffering. Okay, I'm buffering. Got to go. See you next time. Bye-bye.